what is going on everybody we have the final week four in the open division i don't know if i should call it championship because it's not like i'm getting championship worth of rewards or anything like that but this is week four uh, the last game will play on the open side and then i think thursday um if i find the time to my schedule's kind of getting a little crazy here thursday we should jump into week one of the um head-to-head -head side where you need the three tickets i'll go ahead and spend the 9k um, and this is the last game with this team assembled. The only thing that's changed on this team that you're seeing different is my left end is now the BCA Mario Williams. No, not Mario Williams. Muhammad Wilkerson and uh, not Bennett anymore. Everything else is the same. Even though Bennett actually goes off in this game, I just got done editing it. Played this like two weeks ago or a week ago. Finally getting it up for you guys because we had all those pack openings and journey solo openings I was showing you guys. Um, so this ends up being the last game we'll play on this side as you see first down actually the first play of the game he tries to screen he would get a huge loss third to 17 we send a little heat at his neck and his lineman actually almost breaks through everybody right there and runs for the first down he ends up punting the ball i have a question for you guys let me know on tuesday if you would want like tuesday's video like you'll still get a video on tuesday but instead of me like focusing on commenting on the video as oh my god that man just straight up dropped that ball um but that's okay because we have a derrick henry who oh, oh man I know that new Derrick Henry came out that has a little bit more speed. I wonder if he's the same glitchiness as the one I have or what. And this is why I keep Tyrod Taylor for that speed. The man is great. But would you like Tuesday's videos to be like an NFL weekend recap? Not go through every single game and like the stats of every single game because that could turn into like a 15, 20, 30 minute video. But just go over like the weekend highlights of like what happened on Sunday. So like if I was to do that today, I would talk about... um how the Falcons lost it in overtime, how Jay Ajayi rushed for 200 yards in back-to-back -back games, um, how the Vikings are not undefeated anymore. You know, just like the major headlines is that is, that is ridiculous. And once he got that play right there, that chuck to, um, I want to say it was Mike Evans. Once he got that play, he came out and did that every single play from then on out on offense as you see he's in that five wide um verts the rest of the game um and all he did was look for the crossing route going to the left and then he, if that wasn't there he would try to check it to mike evans and i'm um, no exaggeration from what is it two minutes left in the second quarter until the end of the game that is his offense five wide verticals looking for a cross or checking it to the streak but if that's something you guys would be interested in um let me know in tuesdays we could do like a weekend reca recap view of the games that happen and all that crazy stuff. So we're coming up on the two-minute warning right now. It is seven to three. Um, you see, I've been in I form the whole time because oh my god! And right here, I dove because I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I dove because I didn't think I was going to make it, um, and I wanted that touchdown. Derrick Henry is an absolute animal. Appreciate y'all suggesting that, man. Uh, we're coming up on halftime here, and you've seen me in I form the whole time just because he hasn't been able to stop it. I've been running run right run left run up the middle mixing that in with one pass play and my man is running around in circles he has absolutely no idea what's going on and i'm in the mindset of just like everybody else should be i'm not going to change it uh if he can't stop it so i'm going up 14 to 3 and i get ball at half um if this was like a super bowl scenario like last year or whatever this would be perfect but it's not it's right here first and 10 he chucks it oh my god he chucks it up which is unfortunate, but he throws it right back at me. Um, and I end up user picking it off, which is huge because if he would have got a cheap seven there, I would have been really tight. So right here, we've got like six seconds left till halftime. I find a streaking John Brown right at the 40, burn a timeout at the 41. And now I know where my, um, do I have McManus? I'm pretty sure I have McManus. Now I know where my limit is at. 41 so that's 51 plus another 7 58 so this ends up being a 58 yard field goal I mean I really don't have time for anything else like I can't get another playoff and get a timeout off um and I'm not sure where the wind was on this but this just ends up being my man's limit so now I know if like game comes down to crunch time and I need the game winning kick I know 58 yards is my uh that's my limit I need to be at the 41 or closer so I get ball, and my mindset is just tick this clock on out is right here. He just started spamming the strip button, and I got stuck in that, like, animation where I couldn't cover up the ball or, like, do anything with my defender. And um, hands a punch, get on out is right here. He chucks it up. 
right after that fumble. But luckily, Harrison Smith, that base elite Harrison Smith, if you guys don't have one and you're looking for a free safety, definitely pick it up. The man's great. Um, so I'm back to chew clock mode. You see the play clock is in red at three seconds. I'm just trying to chew this thing on out. And I end up making one grave mistake. I pressed the wrong button. That's why you guys see me float a pass. One of you ever seen me float a pass in my life. Um, for some reason in New England's bunch, one of the uh, plays... Oh my god. One of the plays switches the buttons of the receivers so I got the tight end and um, my receiver button mixed up and I actually show you guys at the end of the game uh, I wanted to throw to my tight end coming across the middle and I saw that his button was different at the last second so I didn't want to press it but I still lightly tapped it so that's why it was a floater and it ended up floating it to the wrong receiver who actually ended up being like triple or double covered that's why we got that duck pass that came out there I like went to press it and in my mind I was like oh shit that's not the button don't press it but it was too late my thumb already hit it and I hit it lightly and it ended up being a floater and he picked it off so this game was 17-3 at half and now it is a one score game I need one first down and that's what we end up getting. Oh, the game ended up being so much closer than it needed to be. Um, I thought we moved past Madden 16 where you could just streak your way into a game or streak your way to win a game. But supposedly not because this man's chucking it on double cover. So this is what the scenario right here. This is what I wanted to throw. You see Delaney Walker just wide open all by himself. That's all I wanted to do was throw that and get down. Um and I end up hitting the wrong button and not only do I end up hitting it maybe if I would have bulleted it they might have dropped it but I end up floating it right up there for almost quad coverage and uh, he ends up coming down with it but we are able to get the win and I can't be um, can't be upset at that I feel like I dominated both sides of the ball I mean he couldn't keep up with me he couldn't keep up with my offense and he um, definitely couldn't keep up with uh, what I was doing on defense but once he came out on that five wide it was just I just stopped I just came out in man covered and it was basically is he going to catch it this play or is he going to miss it this play um, and we just go back and show you guys some of the lobs he was getting that's one on one so I'm like alright but it's like I'm swatting my hand is in it and that animation like if he would have came down caught it and fell I'm like alright he bodied me up but like to catch it and then truck over me like you're going to run it ugh, ugh. it's absolutely disgusting but I appreciate it guys like share favorite subscribe if you enjoyed it and if you have not already Again, let me know if you like if you would like Tuesdays to be like NFL Sunday recap. We talk about the big things. We're not gonna cover like everybody's team. I might not even cover my Patriots every week, but um, if that's something you guys are interested. Let me know. Again, like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always, deuces.